Hi guys, I'm Rahul from Simply Learn and today I'd like to welcome you all to the greatest debate of the century. Today, I'm joined by two giants of the cloud computing industry. They'll be going head to head with each other to decide who amongst them is better. It's going to be one hell of a fight. Now, let's meet our candidates. On my left, we have AWS, who's voiced by Apeksha. Hi guys. And on my right, we have Microsoft Azure, who's voiced by Anjali. Hey there. So today, we'll be deciding who's better on the basis of their origin and the features they provide, their performance in the present day, and comparing them on the basis of pricing, market share and options, free tier, and instance configuration. Now, let's listen to their opening statements. Let's start with AWS. Launched in 2006, AWS is one of the most commonly used cloud computing platforms across the world. Companies like Adobe, Netflix, Airbnb, HTC, Pinterest, and Spotify have put their faith in AWS for their proper functioning. It also dominates the cloud computing domain with almost 40% of the entire market share. So far, nobody's even gotten close to beating that number. AWS also provides a wide range of services that covers a great number of domains. Domains like compute, networking, storage, migration, and so much more. Now, let's see what Azure has to say about that. Azure was launched in 2010 and is trusted by almost 80% of all Fortune 500 companies. The best of the best companies in the world choose to work only with Azure. Azure also provides its services to more regions than any other cloud service provider in the world. Azure covers 42 regions already and 12 more are being planned to be made. Azure also provides more than 100 services spanning a variety of domains. Now that the opening statements are done, let's have a look at the current market status of each of our competitors. This is the performance route. Here we have the stats for the market share of AWS, Azure and other cloud service providers. This is for the early 2018 period. Amazon Web Services takes up a whopping 40% of the market share, closely followed by Azure at 30% and other cloud services adding 30%. This 40% indicates most organizations' clear interest in using AWS. We are number one because of our years of experience and trust we've created among our users. Sure, you're the market leader, but we are not very far behind. Let me remind you, more than 80% of the Fortune 500 companies trust Azure with their cloud computing needs. So it's only a matter of time before Azure takes the lead. The rest of the 30% that is in AWS or Azure accounts to the other cloud service providers like Google Cloud Platform, Rackspace, IBM Softlayer and so on. Now for our next round, the comparison round. First, we'll be comparing pricing. We'll be looking at the cost of a very basic instance, which is a virtual machine of two virtual CPUs and 8 GBs of RAM. For AWS, this will cost you approximately 0.0928 US dollars per hour. And for the same instance in Azure, it'll cost you approximately 0.096 US dollars per hour. Next up, let's compare market share and options. As I mentioned before, AWS is the undisputed market leader when it comes to the cloud computing domain, taking up 40% of the market share. By 2020, AWS is also expected to produce twice its current revenue, which comes close to $44 billion. Not to mention, AWS is constantly expanding its already strong roster of more than 100 services to fulfill the shifting business requirements of organizations. All that is great, really, good for you. But the research company Gartner has released a magic quadrant that you have to see. You see, the competition is now neck to neck between Azure and AWS. It's only a matter of time before Azure can increase from its 30% market share and surpass AWS. This becomes more likely considering how all companies are migrating from AWS to Azure to help satisfy their business needs. Azure is not far behind AWS when this comes to services as well. Azure's service offerings are constantly updated and improved on to help users satisfy their cloud computing requirement. Now, let's compare AWS and Azure's free offerings. AWS provides a significant number of its services for free helping users get hands-on experience with the platform, products, and services. The free tier services fall under two categories, services that will remain free forever and the others that are valid only for one year. The always free category offers more than 20 services, for example, Amazon SNS, SQS, CloudWatch, etc. And the valid for a year category offers approximately 20 services, for example, Amazon S3, EC2, Elastic Cash, etc. 
both types of services have limits on their usage, for example, storage, number of requests, compute time, etc. But users are only charged for using services that fall under the valid for a year category after a year of their usage. Azure provides a free tier as well. It also provides services that belong to the categories of free for a year and always free. There are about 25 plus always free services provided by Azure. These include app service, functions, container service, active directory and lots more. And as of the valid for a year, there are 8 services offered. There's Linux or Windows virtual machines, blob storage, SQL database and few more. Azure also provides the users with credits of 200 US dollars to access all their services for 30 days. Now this is a unique feature that Azure provides where its users can use their credits to utilize any service of a choice for the entire month. Now let's compare instance configuration. The largest instance that AWS offers is that of a whopping 256 GBs of RAM and 16 virtual CPUs. The largest that Azure offers isn't very far behind either. 224 GBs of RAM and 16 virtual CPUs. And now for the final round. Now each of our contestants will be shown facts and they have to give explanations for these facts. We call it the rapid fire round. First we have features in which AWS is good and Azure is better. AWS does not cut down on the features it offers its users. However, it requires slightly more management on the user's part. Azure goes slightly deeper with the services that fall under certain categories like platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. Next, we have hybrid cloud where AWS is good and Azure is better. Okay, although AWS did not emphasize on hybrid cloud earlier, they are focusing more on technology now. Azure has always emphasized on hybrid cloud and has features supporting it since the days of its inception. For developers, AWS is better and Azure is good. Of course it's better, because AWS supports integration with third-party applications. Well, Azure provides access to data centers that provide a scalable architecture. For pricing, both AWS and Azure are at the same level. It's good for AWS because it provides a competitive and constantly decreasing pricing model. And in the case of Azure, it provides offers that are constantly experimented upon to provide its users with the best experience. And that's it. Our contestants have finished giving their statements. Now, let's see who won. Surprisingly, nobody. Each cloud computing platform has its own pros and cons. Choosing the right one is based entirely on your organization's requirements. And with that, we've reached the end of another video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.